What's going on everybody? Craig here and I got an update. So I put a video out a couple days ago for updating to Sierra with a Hackintosh and it threw me for a loop because uh, basically the NVIDIA web drivers is a new way of doing it now and as you see on my screen right now this is the uh, this is the article in, in Tony Mac for what to do now. It threw me for a loop because now you have to actually go in and tick every single time uh, the graphics uh, injection and say hey use the NVIDIA web drivers instead of having NVDA underscore DRV equals one in the boot arguments but this is basically how to be able to boot up every time this is how to set up your config file and I'll explain this all uh, so it's easy to understand but this is how this is what your config file should look like in the system parameters if you just want to boot up every time and not have to keep ticking that use NVIDIA web drivers every single time because it's pretty annoying so we'll go ahead and, and show you what that looks like so what I want you what you need is clover configurator uh, a p, uh, config plist editor so I use Xcode because it's free on the App Store it takes a while to download but it's free um, and then I will attach this article in the description so you'll be able to see this so let's go ahead and mount our EFI partition because your, your config file is in the EFI partition and it needs to be open for you to edit it so we're gonna open Clover configurator right now we're gonna select mount EFI partition click mount EFI partition and then mine is the middle one okay your you can just keep clicking around till you find uh, when you open your folder when you click open right there you should see something that says this EFI and you know it's uh, your Hackintosh EFI if you see Clover in there so now that your partition EFI partition is mounted you can begin editing your config.plist so do not eject this this has to be open and basically if you weren't to mount your EFI partition and you went in here and just started changing and hit save it would save a blank config.plist uh, and then it would completely screw up your system I know from experience so um, so now that this is mounted we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into Xcode and we're going to so I got Xcode highlighted right here so Xcode file open and then I'm going to um, all right, I'll show you I'll show you where this is at so you're gonna go to your EFI partition over here you're going to click EFI, you're going to click Clover, and then you're going to click config.plist. Okay, so Xcode just opened it and it looks a little like this. And so it kind of breaks it all down for you of what this kind of looks like and um, basically uh, yes, no statements and stuff like that. So right today we're just going to be um, editing the system parameters. So this article says, hey, if you want to enable the web drivers, it needs to look like this. So I kind of looked at it for a minute and said, okay, what doesn't look like the others? And then right here, uh, the NVIDIA web. So so it needs to look like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this. We're going to hit copy. Okay. And then we're going to go back to our P list. And then under system parameters, you're going to uh, click add which is a new item and you're going to paste that exact NVIDIA web okay and this one you're going to change to boolean and then you're going to select yes oops over here so basically that's a new statement in your config file that says hey I want you to go ahead and use the NVIDIA web drivers I have downloaded uh, instead of ticking that uh, hash mark every single time so when you're done with that Okay, you're going to go up here and hit file, then save, and then you can close out of it. Okay, and then from now on, you'll be able to restart the system, and you won't have to tick that every single time. In fact, you can go in the graphic injector options, and you'll see that it's already ticked. Um, so that's it. Just save and reboot, and you're good to go. And you can even wipe away NVDA underscore DRV equals one uh, if you would like. Uh, so you can just take that out. Uh, in your boot arguments uh, but basically if you were to do try to do this in clover configurator there's no way to do it so um, if you want to get rid of drv uh, underscore uh, nvda uh, underscore drv equals one you can just make sure that's unchecked 
and again save this uh, when you're done make sure your EFI partition is open while you're saving uh, and that's it so hopefully this fix helped you um, if it did go ahead and smash that like button uh, subscribe comment do all that good stuff uh, and thanks for watching